We just put in this two barrel system over the weekend and it's getting its first fill right now. So let me show a couple things about how the downspout diverter works. So first of all, this is a covered patio and you can see our downspout isn't on a wall, it's on a post. Um, but all the materials are versatile enough that it works regardless. Um, it's not raining very hard, but this is a fairly large catchment surface. We're collecting from this whole covered patio and uh, from the roof line all the way above. I'm not actually sure of the square footage. I should have measured that to be prepared for this video, but I wanna say it's a good, somewhere between five and 700 square feet. So anyway, at Blue Barrel, we get a lot of questions about what's called simultaneous overflow. We also get questions about this piece, which is called the leaf eater. Um, so let me, this is a great opportunity for me to show you how some of this stuff works. And by the way, um, all of these materials and supplies and more information too can be found on our website at bluebarrelsystems.com. So let me just give you an overview of what's going on here. Um, a classic blue barrel system. Um, and by the way, this is the minimum size. It's uh, two barrels. We have another seven barrel system on this side of the house. You can just see it peeking out there. Um, and on the other side, we have eight and out in front, we have another three and we can keep adding on as we want. Um, but to build a blue barrel system, what you order on our website is called the DIY rain kit and you get to specify the number of barrels you want. Now that kit comes with all the parts to put it together um, and it does come with this downspout diverter. So um, at a minimum, the diverter inserts into a standard downspout. This is a two by three inch downspout um, and carries the water into the barrels. I can disconnect that here so that you can see, you see that water coming through. Um, all right, and there we can, we can hear it filling. Look how fast that works. And then just going upstream a little bit, you see, because we installed a leaf eater, this is optional, but I highly recommend it. Um, even though we don't actually have any trees overhanging in this location, that leaf eater is going to catch whatever debris ends up in the, in the gutter. And I mean, you can already see it's caught just little bits. We have trees not far away. It's winter now, so they don't have leaves, but on a windy day, those leaves will get over here. Um, and the other thing that the leaf eater is great for is catching the gravelly bits that come off of an asphalt roof. So again, it hasn't been raining very long, so you don't see much, um, but it does catch the debris. And if I wanna clear that, I just, it's a little hard to do with one hand, but it does pop off really easily by this tab. Um, if I weren't holding the camera, I could make it look easy too, but anyway, well, you get the point there and we have other videos actually showing that. Um, so one detail I want to point out with the leaf eater is it can actually be used as an adapter. We have a lot of folks that write in saying, you know, my downspout's not quite the right dimension, um, to be compatible with this piece. Um, we do have downspout diverters that are compatible with two by three and also three by four inch downspouts. And then three to four inch round downspouts as well. So that does cover most standard sizes, but here's a trick that gets a lot of people. So this is the downspout that was on our house originally. It's a, it's a metal downspout um, and it's called a two by three inch downspout, but that's a nominal measurement. And in reality, it's more like one and three quarters here by two and three quarters here. So it's pretty narrow and um, the diverter will go in, but it crimps a little bit. Um, so it does, interfere with the collection efficiency just a little bit. It's not a fatal mistake and you can still collect from it, but if you find that your diverter isn't really sealing optimally in there, you can use the leaf eater to adapt to a different downspout material. So the plastic downspout is really easily workable and it actually is true two by three. So we have a really good seal inside of here. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to show you is what's called simultaneous overflow. Um, we get a lot of folks writing in saying, hey, I hear the water going into my barrels, as you can hear right now, um, but I also have water coming out the bottom. So most of our downspouts actually go into underground drainage, but this one's exposed, so I can actually show you what what a simultaneous overflow looks like. So you can hardly see it. We don't have a lot of simultaneous overflow, but you see that I do have water coming out there. So this blue barrel system is solving most of my drainage problem at this location. Um, when I get around to it, I'm actually gonna direct this downspout into a um, infiltration basin. We'll dig a little basin, fill it with rock and possibly plant it with some 
beautiful plantings. Um, and, and to do that, you wanna stay 15 feet away from a building foundation. You don't want an infiltration basin right up against a building for obvious reasons. So these are just a few tips and pointers. Um, but what I wanna say about simultaneous overflow, you know, it's not raining very hard. If it rains harder, we will get more simultaneous overflow. Um, and then once the barrels are full, of course, all remaining water would come out. The downspout is normal. So that's actually a big convenience. Um, you don't need to redo your drainage system if you already have a drainage system that's working. If your drainage system is not working, you have to address it regardless because you will have some overflow. These barrels fill pretty quickly. Um, so anyway, um, the simultaneous overflow, what it does, it's actually optimizing the inflow rate. We have the whole system plumbed underneath with a three quarter inch pipes, um, all the parts to do that and the designs and instructions are included in our DIY rain kits. Um, but your system can't really fill any faster than water can move through that under plumbing. Um, and what that's doing is it's equalizing the water in the whole system and letting those both of those barrels are filling and emptying at the same time and maintaining a level. So um, again, it just started raining probably half an hour ago. So, um, but let's just see what we can show here. So there we go, we already have water coming out. And this is actually one of our older style, um, standard classic um, drain valves. And those of you who purchased systems, you know, in the last few years or prior um, may have one of these, but all of our current rain kits actually come with a high flow version of this, which sees the water coming out a lot faster and it's great for gravity fed irrigation. So anyway, I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about how that leaf feeder can be used to adapt a downspout and then how the water goes down and mostly into the barrels, but a little bit of simultaneous overflow is actually normal and fine and just tells us that the system is working. It's a controlled inflow and overflow solution. All right, again, um, more information and all of the parts you need to set up your own at bluebarrelsystems.com. And if you like this video, please subscribe and check out our others. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.